Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah, today I'll be taking a look at Slam. Da, 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 da. Let the boys be boys. Man, I remember that song man, back in high school when I was playing basketball, man. When that jam came on, oh, man. If y'all know who it is, Onyx, check out that, man. It's a great, man. You want to talk about getting pumped up. But today, but that's beside the point. Autobot Slammer. That's who we're going to be looking at. Very nice. I got this in today. Awesome. Very nice artwork as always. Love it. And on the, uh, you got the same as that. And then on the back, he transforms to 20 steps. He is a weaponizer. So that's awesome. Pretty cool. We got a, uh, his actual name is Autobot Slammer. So they don't have the name Slammer, but pretty cool. And like I said, you can weaponize other Autobots or Decepticons, but Autobots, since he is an Autobot. But there you go. That is Autobot Slammer. And man, it's some Onyx Slam. All right, let's get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, real quick, we'll take a look at what he comes with. It really doesn't come with a whole lot. He comes with his barrel, which I'll show you that a little bit. But he comes with one of these little sticker cards things. This one got Dinobot and Dynamus. So there you go. That's pretty cool. And he comes with instructions, which are really good. Uh, I like them. Got the green and the black and white. So very nice. All right, and there is Slammer in his tank mode. Like I said, he does go with Metroplex. And I'm going to show you he does have a tower mode as well, so he's a triple changer, if you want to call him that. But here is the tank mode. Looks pretty good. Not bad. So he's got some nice silver paint right here for the wheels or the tires right there for the treads. And you got some silver paint right here as well. All this right here is painted kind of a grayish, a dark gray right here. Then you got the lighter gray, then you got the dark. Kind of almost looks kind of brownish too as well. But that is painted right there. The uh, barrel of the tip right here, that is painted silver. Silver accent pieces right here. You got some nice detail sculpt work throughout. And nice sculpt work throughout as well through there. You do have some ports right here so you can put some weapons on, some battle masters, whatever you want to do. You want to arm them up. Then the back, got the nice tan um, plastic and then a the brown plastic right here. Other side, same thing. You got the nice kind of a darkish brown paint right here for this area. Silver paint for the wheels. Very nice. You got some white paint right here. You got the nice Autobot symbol right there. Looks pretty good. Once again, this is paint right here too on there. So you got some nice parts. All right. So as far as articulation, he does have uh, wheels right here and then right here. So he will roll. This is kind of a smooth area, but it won't roll like that, but it does roll pretty good. And as far as the turret, he does go up. Now, this is a little issue of mine. This is not a really secure fit right there. So it's going to come apart quite a few times. But it will go up to about right there. And you can put blast effects in there. I'll show that in a second. Uh, as far as turning, not a whole lot of turn. You can go about to right there, and then it starts breaking up the sculpt. So just about right there is what you can turn to on the tank mode. So not a whole lot of turning. See this thing, is, like I said, it's not a tight fit at all. And it will come undone. Now I have seen pictures where this is his head right here. I've seen it looking up. You can have it either way. I like it down. So uh, yeah, you can have it any way you want to. But there you go. That is it basically for the tank mode. Looks pretty good, but I just is right here. I wish that was more... Uh, you know, or tighter right there fit so it'll stay in. Cause like I said, once you start moving the turret, it is going to start un coming undone. So there you go. That is uh, Slammer in his alt mode. And there he is next to Scoop and Red Alert. He is deluxe scale, so he does line up with these pretty good. So there you go, scale. And Crappy Garnish, Crappy Toilet Paper, some Carmex, and Care Bears for more scale. All right, so TFW 2005 is a website for, you know, Transformers and everything. Now, they had a round table with the uh, designers and stuff. Now, there is a way that he can become the tower for Metroplex like he did in G1. So, basically, what you do is you're going to take this part off right here. 
and then take this part, the barrel off right there. Now these parts, I don't, they don't show anywhere. I just see a picture. I'm just going off by what the picture says. Um, I don't see where these can go anywhere. So then you bring this part up right here. It's real easy and move this up like that. And then you're going to kind of put this right here and it's going to be like a tower. I think, you know, there's two plugs right here. Um, I don't have my Metroplex out. I've already put him up, uh, but he's going to sit on the helipad or like, you know, behind the helipad where you can put the helicopters and stuff. And basically it just looks like that. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's awesome that he threw that in. Then you can uh, have some playability with him. So that's what he looks like in tower mode for a uh, Metroplex. Like I said, these two, three pieces right here, um, I mean, I guess you could put them right here if you want to. I mean, you can do whatever you want to. I mean, it's your transformer. You can, you know, kind of put these on the side right here if you want to. That'd be pretty sweet. And then just leave this off and it could look like that. Like I said, whatever you want to do, like I said, you can let your mind go wild. But there you go. That is going to be his tower mode. All right, before transforming into bot mode, I don't know if I had it right or not, but you can have it all go all the way up to there like that. Basically, it, it's on a, say this doesn't stay, yeah, that's, it's a pain to put to get, it's going to come apart, but you can move it forward a little bit like that, but it's supposed to be kind of like this, it's supposed to be like that, but anyways, like I said, it doesn't turn that well, like I said, it's, it will start coming apart. All right, so what you do, is going to take this part off, take this part like that, then you want to come in around and take this part right here like that then you want to move that down turn this around and then you want to lift this head up turn it around and there you go that's going to be his main body or top body or top of the half then you want to come and take this all apart see and then take this apart Golly. take that and then take these right here what you want to do is you want to come and collapse the legs right here. And this one was already collapsed, but it looks like it's supposed to be that. You collapse that right there. All right. So all these little pieces. So what you want to do is take this part right here and then come to this part like that. Move that up. Collapse right there. There you go. Do the same thing for him right there and then right there and there you go that is basically the top half of him then what you want to do is you want to take his legs and you want to flip this out and then put that in right there come over here flip this out he is also, he's basically just a part former, just like all the weaponizers. Then you want to come around. Now you don't have to have this. I think it cleans it up, you know, cause there's a big old gap right there. And what you're going to do is you're going to, there's two holes right there, two tabs. And then you're just going to put this right here. And then you can put this up here if you want to, you don't have to, you know, it's just somewhere to put, you know, store it. I don't like it up there very much, but you can't have that there. Then you put that right there and there you go. That is how you transform Slammer. So let me clean him up a little bit and we'll take a look at him. All right, let's take a quick look at Slammer. And here's his head scope. And he's got nice silver paint right here. A nice blue visor. Looks really good. Nothing else, just white plastic. Nice Autobot symbol right there. Bunch of tan and kind of a brownish plastic right here. I like how it kind of breaks up the tan right there. That looks pretty good. I like that. It does got some sculpt work throughout. Very nice. And then you got the waist right here. And you got the hands or the arms and hand. Kind of wish this is just one big plastic, one piece of uh, white plastic. Kind of wish we made the hand separate. That sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. And you can put the cannon on one side, either side if you want to. Then you got the legs. Very nice. You do got some waffles going on as always. Nice silver paint for the uh, kind of a missile pod thing going on. Whenever, like, see, he has a weaponizer, so you can weaponize other Autobots. I'll show you that in a little bit. 
Then moving on down, you got some nice kind of a brown paint right there. That might be plastic, but this is painted right here. It's got two little Gatlin guns right there. That's pretty cool. And it does got some ports. You can put some, uh, you know, battle masters or some weapons right there if you want to. And then the back cleans up pretty good. Do got some waffle just because of the transformation and all that. And then back here. And silver paint, silver paint. So pretty cool. And that is him. All right, let's go over articulation. So not much da looking down at all. Now you can look up a little bit, then you can look up a lot more just because of the transformation. So if you want to have some dynamic poses, uh, side to side, and give you a little attitude as well. So very nice. But I do like that blue and silver. And then with the arms, you can go all the way around up to there, 90 degrees. He does have a 90 degree knee bend or elbow bend, a little more than 90 degrees, eh, about 90 degrees. Swivel for the bicep. And like I said, nothing for the hand. Kind of wish it was just not a one, you know, fixed mold or whatever that is. So move these up right here. He does have a waist swivel, which this kind of hinders a little bit. It will get in the way. It will start knocking on, on the other plastic. And he does have an ab crunch. So that is pretty cool. So up crunch right there. So a little small air crunch, just called transformation, but it is there. You can use it. All right. So he can van dam all day, every day. Now sometimes they will start, he will start pulling apart because he is a weaponizer. Uh, you can kick all the way up to there. Not much. See. Yeah. So there you go. Not much back. Um, you can take this off. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, he does have a thigh swivel. More than 90 degrees for the knee bend just because transformation, so you can get all you need right there. Uh, no toe tilt up or down, but he does have a rocker. So there you go. And then there's the back once again. All right. So that is articulation and sculpt work of Slammer, Autobot Slammer. Like I said, also you can take this off right here, and I'll show you, you can use it, make it a weapon. So take that off. Then you want to take this off and then take these off right here. And then you want to tab these in right there like that. And then you want to put that together and it kind of looks like a saw blade. And like I said, you can use that port right there and you can use it as a weapon. Like I said, it looks a little cleaner, you know, from up here. And then when you turn around, it does have that big gap and hole right there. So, and you can see through it. So just however much you, however you want to display it, but I like it either way. You know, I do like it cool. I like it that you can use it as a weapon, like a saw blade, but there you go. That's what you can do with the backpack. And this, I mean, I guess you can uh, come back here if you want to put this back here, if you want to, and that will fill in the gap. So there you go. You can fill the gap in. So you can use all the parts. That's cool. All right, so in the instructions, um, it shows to weaponize Will Jack, okay? So we're going to weaponize him. All right, first things first is you want to take these right here, and these are going to be kind of like um, boots, <laughs> if you want to, or some stilts, or not stilts, but boots. So you want that, like that, and then do the same thing for that right there, and basically like that. So you can take Will Jack. And you can <clears throat> put these right there and these right there. So I, I don't know what that does for him, but that's what the instruction says. Okay, <clears throat> take this piece right here and that piece right there. And then you're going to use that. Keep the same thing you did. You made the little saw blade and move that like that. Then you want to take this piece. All right, then you take this main piece right here. And what you want to do is you want to take this piece right here and then you're going to come around and plug this right here and then plug this right here and kind of give him like a missile pod thing going on. And then you just come around. Now you do got to take the, um, the little two things off right here, take those off, and then you just plug this in his back, 
And there you go. Now he is all weaponized up and he can't, it's going to add a lot of weight onto him. So got to kind of situate him. But there you go. That's what he looks like weaponized up here. Let me move up the camera a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. So that's just one way. Like I said, you can let your run, your mind run wild or your imagination run wild. You can do however you want to. I may do another one for you real quickly, but that is what is in the instructions. And real quick, there's something I just do together. Really, I just took the feet off and put them on his shoulder so they could be like cannons or something. So he is really armed up and he can hold the, uh, you know, chainsaw, whatever thing, blade, and he can hold his gun too as well. So just a little something like I said, you can, you know, however you want to do it. It's fun. Playability is awesome. So there you go. That is Will Jacked armed up. And there he is next to Redgar, Optimus Prime, Iron High, Side Swipe, and you got Core Class Rat Trap. Just for some scale for you. And Crapper Garnish, Crappy Toll Paper, some Carmex, and you got Care Bears, Squeaks, and Kicker from Energon for more scale. Folks, I talk about Kingdom Deluxe Autobot Slammer. I mean, he's pretty cool. I like him. He's all right. He does have some issues. Man, just trying to, you know, put him in, you know, poses and stuff. Stuff will just start popping off real easy. I mean, that's just, that's how it was with all the other weaponizers too, but just kind of sucked. And the fixed hands, you know, I wish they would have gave him some hands instead of just molding it into the, you know, the forearms and stuff. So that kind of sucks. Uh, but other than that, it's pretty fun. I love the uh, tank mode. That's really awesome. I love to give him the uh, tower mode for Metroplex. That's really awesome because he does go with Metroplex. Uh, so that's what I mainly got him for is to get, you know, to do that. So that's awesome. Uh, you know, transformation is real easy. It's just parts forming. You basically explodes and you just put them together just like the other ones. Um, you know, bot mode looks, you know, pretty good. I like it. Like I said, just, you know, some, you know, when you're trying to you know, manipulate him, you know, stuff will just start popping off. And, you know, also in um, the, uh, uh, tank mode as well you know it will do that too so but other than that it looks pretty good paint wise not a whole lot of paint but it's got some decent paint a lot of silver and a lot of brown and uh that's really nice um the uh articulation is really good he does have an ab crunch that is nice way swivel uh so you know only thing he really needs is a toe tilt up and down but other than that really nice on the articulation uh Lacking for the playability, you know, the weaponizer, you know, you can weaponize other Autobots. Um, on the box, it shows him uh, weaponizing pipes. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have pipes right now. He was supposed to come with him, but uh, they didn't send him yet. So uh, just waiting for pipes. But you can weaponize any other Autobot, and it's pretty fun. And like I said, I do like the uh, chainsaw kind of thing going on. That's pretty cool. Uh, so, yeah, overall, uh, mainly for the playability and for Metroplex. You know, that's pretty cool that they're giving all of their little smaller bots for the uh, Titan class stuff. So, pretty cool you know he's not the best one but he's fine he's all right so yeah hit me up some likes shares prayers and care bears go on and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind hit me up some comments tell you thought of what you thought of the review and uh if you like this guy has anybody got this guy coming to them and uh yeah let's chainsaw some babies <laughs> that does not sound right at all meow yeah that did not sound right at all but anyways uh, i guess i'll see the next transform review and as always be good to yourself Hell has bro, and good night, folks. There you go. Very nice. Yeah, I like that chainsaw thing. Good job, Hasbro. <laughs>